You have to start confiding in me, David. What are you seeing? I can see echoes. Memories of those who lived here. I see my father as a young boy. He's trying to communicate with me. Perhaps you visited here as a child. Maybe you're remembering stories your father told you of this place when you were young. You see? I said you wouldn't believe me. If I'm only remembering things, how would I have known where to find a pendant? How could I have known he tried to force himself on her? Unless you think I killed her. I don't think you killed anyone, David. And you're right. I can't explain it. So? So, we focus on the facts as we know them. Go on. You saw the maid's body. Her neck was broken. That was the work of a human, not a ghost, yes? I, I suppose so, yes. Lady Margaret knows more than she's saying, that's for sure. Godspeed getting anything out of that old hag. No, I know. But Eddie might be an easier option. Yes. Yes, we need to find him. And make sure Margaret isn't there to interrupt. I believe she's already gone to bed, but I'll check. You go find Eddie. Well, that's clear enough. Well, hello, my dear Elsa. Oh, Sir Edward, you look very handsome today. Eddie? Why, thank you. You're as beautiful as ever, my little doll. Oh, mwah, mwah. Eddie, can you hear me? What can you tell me about Great Grandmother Rose? What did Elsa have to do? Daddy! Self-made dolls. Ugh. The stuff of nightmares. What do you see here, Eddie? Safe, the little rabbit said to his brothers and sisters. The fox is fast asleep, so the rabbits tiptoed past. But the fox was sly. He wasn't asleep at all. He opened his eyes. I've warned you before to mind your place. This will be the last time you defy me. The eyes of the grass, they shone with cruel light as he pounced on the rabbits and ate them all, one by one. It was only then he went to sleep, his tummy full, his heart content.
secret passage. What do you think you're doing? That won't be long, I hope. Look after Eddie. Just a little further. Damn it! That's it. Open wide. Good, good. I don't I want any. That's all right, dear. Did I tell you that John's son David has arrived? He's as balsam as his father. Not worthy of this place. Poor Angus will never recover from the sight of John's charred remains. Selfish, selfish man. Please. I do not enjoy this, as you well know, but you brought it on yourself. Your son was a good man. You should not have defied him. skin and bones. How is she still alive? I the switch. It was in the bookcase. You scared me half to death. Well, you will insist on wandering off without telling me where you're going and I just managed to avoid Lady Margaret when... <laughs> Jesus God! I saw this. In a vision? Edward beat her with it. Used it to cripple the poor woman. Oh, my God. And he hung it there to remind her every day. Take it down. You're sure? Do it. Thank you. Thank you. Rose? Rosemary? Can you hear me? Rosemary, I'm David, John's son, your great-grandson. Here, try this. No, like this. Gently. Who did this to you? Edward. I was bad. Disobeyed. Disobeyed? How did you disobey? Cecilia. I tried to stop him. Stop what he was doing. What was he doing, Rosemary? Should not have disobeyed. <laughs> Not disturb him in the old wing. Never talk back. Rose.
Rose! Rose! What did he do to Cecilia? I don't think you'll get anything more out of her. Poor woman. Come on, Lady Rosemary. We'll get you out of here. No! We can get you somewhere safe. I'm safe here. In this room. Safe from the black mirror. <laughs> the black mirror. Margaret has a lot to explain. I think we need to have words with her ladyship. Margaret, we need to talk about... Lady Margaret, if you please. Never mind that. What the hell are you doing with Rosemary? You'll want to talk. You're just like your father, leaving nothing but fear and misery in your wake. What in God's name are you talking about? You spoke to young Eddie, did you not? Now he's convinced everyone is trying to kill him. He has taken poor Andrew hostage and is threatening his life. Where is he? He's taken him to the old wing, and he is armed. I'll go. I can talk to him. You will not. You two have caused quite enough trouble already. We? How dare you, when you continue to worship Edward, even though he drove poor Cecilia to drown herself? I will not allow you to... To what? To speak the truth? To say that Edward... He never touched her! You come here, and you... No, you. You are the one in the wrong here. You know more than you're saying, and we both know it. There's something in this place. An evil that has plagued our family for generations. Instead of blaming others, maybe you should look closer to home for the cause of your misfortune. You know nothing. What I did, what I do, everything, everything is for this family. How can you possibly understand? Please, my lady, we can discuss this later. Miss Farber, you need to speak to Master Eddie. Take us to him. This way. Uh, have a care in the old wing. It isn't used, and for good reason. A section of wall fell into the sea some years back, and the rest is falling to ruin. No! No! They're after me! All of them! Trying to kill me! No! Please help! Eddie, look at me, Eddie. Just at me. It's going to be all right. Stay back here. I'll try to reason with it. You will not. This is what I do. Eddie? Talk to me, Eddie. Tell me what's troubling you. Troubling me? He is! And David! They all are! They all are what, Eddie? Accusing me! It's too dangerous to leave They think I killed her! The maid, you mean? But I didn't! I didn't! I believe you, Eddie. I believe you. He can't see me from here. This might be a way across. Steady now.
wriggling about. He stay still. Let him go, Eddie. Everything is all right. Come here! Bloody fool. Dr. Frankenstein's workplace. Bits of bone. Should work if I'm careful. Seems intact. Now for some ammunition. Let's hope this doesn't snap under the strain.